What is up guys, Ivan here with GetIvan.com and in this video I'm going to be talking about how to use committed use dis, uh, plans, committed use discounts in the Google Cloud platform, specifically in Google Compute Engine, so the Compute Engine section of the Google Cloud platform. If that's confusing to you, basically it means that we're looking at cloud-based virtual machines or VPS machines that are cheaper because you're opting in for a long-term payment plan. It's, not, it's something that I was kind of aware of, but didn't wasn't aware of how significant the savings really are until recently. Let me give you an example of the machine that I've been using for the last couple of years. It was dual core. And actually, let's go to basic view because I believe it was this, yeah. Dual core, 7.5 gigs of RAM. And it says 50 bucks a month, but it was quite a bit more than that for some reason. I think it was possibly counting the hard drive. Let's see. What was it that was jacking the price up so much? It could have been... I could have been running a lot more RAM. That may have been... Or maybe I was on, maybe it was on quad-core. I'm not sure. Maybe it was this. Might have been this. I think I was running dual core. I'm not sure. In any case, I was running a machine on one of my VMs that was only taking up like 1% CPU and maybe 10% of the RAM on average. And it's just something I wasn't paying attention to. So I was literally just burning money for the last couple of years that I've been running or a year and a half that I've been running that particular VM. And so if we take a look, what I did, of course, was beauty of the cloud is I downgraded that VM to one vCPU and then the maximum amount that's allowed for that vCPU of RAM, which is 6.5 gigs of, of, of memory. And there's a bunch of other things that make the price go up a little bit. So you're looking at around 35 to 40 bucks a month for these particular specs. Now, if you go into... Um, committed use discount, it's a pretty significant drop. And before we do that, I want to also highlight a stronger machine in case anyone's interested in using this for, for something like Scrapebox, for example. So with this plan, you can see quad core 15 gigs of RAM is about a hundred bucks a month. So you're looking at uh, a lot more power with this machine for about three times the price. Um, so let's keep those numbers in mind, roughly 35 a month or so versus 100 a month or so between these two machine types. And, and actually, let's look at dual, dual core preset also. So you're looking at 35 a month to 50 a month to 100 a month, okay? Now let's look at some of the committed use discounts because it does make a huge difference. Maybe not huge, but significant. So this is, for my situation, I recently committed to this, and I might, I'm might, i going to test this and see what it's capable of. Might do another commit use, we'll see, in the not-too-distant future. Let's go to purchase here, and let's look at three years. So right off the bat, you can tell, man, the savings are huge. So let's do high memory uh, machine family. So this is what I have right now. And it's only 20 bucks a month. So you're looking at from 35 bucks a month or so all the way back, all the way down to 20 bucks a month. So 15 bucks a month savings, 150 bucks or so a year, or 180 bucks a year, roughly. Pretty big difference, right? Now let's take a look at dual core. And let's not do high memory, let's do standard. So that one's about 30 bucks a month, down from 50. So you're looking at about $240 a month a year savings. So 20 bucks a month, that's pretty huge. And then finally, finally, let's look at quad core. Wow, that's that's almost half right there for the quad core. So down from 100 bucks a month down to 60, somewhere around 65, I guess you could say, once you add an SSD. So it's pretty significant. You have to once you make a commitment, you have to remain locked into that commitment, of course. But um, 
pretty huge savings. And it's, it's not that easy to find quality VPS for a good price, if that makes any sense. The cheapest I found with, in terms of quad core, I, I don't think I've ever <laughs> found any quad core with this much RAM. Let's see, can we lower the RAM? No, you can't lower the RAM in this preset thing. The best price that I've seen on a machine like this is something like four cores, eight gigs of RAM, and it's about $25. So, But it's not with this kind of infrastructure that you can get in Google Cloud that's scalable. And so for something like Scrapebox, for example, one could easily do... Um, oh, you can do custom here. I didn't realize that. There we go. Okay. One could easily do a quad or dual core, and you could do high memory. It's not really that much of a, a, a price increase, or just do standard. And I'm I need to test if the this uh, single core is possible. I don't think it's possible with Windows, but um, I mean that that's that's a pretty good rate right there. That's basically a dollar a day. In the past, I've done preemptible VPS machines, which are a significant price decrease. And you can do, you can get it to where it's maybe two bucks a day or something like that. And then you can just activate it on the days you need. So you can save a lot of money using a preemptible VPS, but you might want to consider, depending on what you're using it for, you might want to consider a long-term discount plan. And then if you're really shrewd about it, you can use that plan on other virtual machines. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.